Hi everybody, it's Jane from Living Skies Vintage. Sorry I've been away for so long, but I've been enjoying some of our sunny Saskatchewan summer days, so what can I say? I've been having fun. Anyways, I'm back. I've got a little bit of mail to share with you and a few thrifting finds, so let's take a look. Okay, hold on. So hey everybody, we're back. Um, first thing I wanted to show you is something I got in the mail a little while ago. I just haven't been on to show you all, but here's a little, pretty little pair of artist palette earrings. I got these from Dawn at Hudson Vintage and how to wear it. And I'll share her channel at the bottom below, but she's a great person to look at and watch and get, uh, get some, uh, knowledge on your, on your vintage jewelry. She's great resources that she has there. So take a look at her channel and give her a follow and then the next thing I got in the mail was a big package from beautiful Sue at Denim to Diamonds auctions uh, I've had Sue hold a bunch of things for me so we could build up some of the freight you know coming across the border it, uh, it is a little bit costly and she's happy to do that for all of us so you know take a look over at her channel I'll post that below here here too but uh, first of all look at this little gift that she sent me it's a beautiful little tape measure so this is gonna help me I right now lately all I've had is a ruler but the tape measure works way better to measure my wrist and all of that kind of stuff so thank you Sue for the gift that will come in handy for me I will tell you that then I picked up this cute little coin chain necklace and I'm sure this is this is artisan made it's it, you know the links are all sold, soldered fairly well and I take a look at these coins and I've got a mixture of Mexican and what appears to be English coins because we have George the sixth on here and it's a half penny. And these range in the dates from 1948 to 1953. Most of them are dated 1953. And I've got a mix of copper and nickel type of coins and the same in the chain bracelet. And I think this is gonna be fun to wear. Uh, based on the coins, I think that this probably was made in the early 1950s. Certainly, I know earlier than 1953, but I think probably five out of these coins are all dated 1953 and then the other ones are dated 1948. So maybe it was a significant date for whoever made it, but it's certainly quite a different little artisan type of necklace. And there's even look at this old clasp that's on here. It is a, actually I hadn't noticed the clasp for a while. It's not even hooked to the, to the latch on there. Let me just take this off because it's hooked through the coin. I might need to take a look at that and maybe fix this here the way it's supposed to be. But that's, that's a fair, fair age on that, on that clasp too, so. Yeah, that's, it still makes me think it's going to be early 1950s. It's certainly something that's, that was handmade and not mass produced. Like that. Always like handmade things like these. <laughs> these are my, a uh, couple of my Tibetan rings that I got. Um, I got both of these from Tanya at uh, My Jewelry Addiction. I'm kind of a sucker for this kind of jewelry. Anyways, back to the haul from Susie. So along with that, I've got three pairs of cute, tiny, tiny earrings. I think this I haven't quite figured out. Oh, th I know what this is. This is a chick popping out of an egg. Can you, can you see? A little chicky popping out of an egg. And then we have... A little pair of umbrellas and a little pair of geckos and these are all sterling silver and I think that we are going this is probably going to go somewhere for a little gift for some little girl that I know 
Also in that package was, and let me just kind of do the, do the Susie pull through, was this beautiful, beautiful branch coral necklace. I, I, I just, yeah. Natural items just really get me. But this is beautiful. Look at those. Look at those. Can't harvest coral anymore. So, and looking at the clasp on this, I didn't really give you a good look again. I think that's, you know, we're talking, we're talking probably 70s here on, on this. So, there we go. And then I got, ah, this gorgeous thing. Look at this. Look at those faces. This is a Tasco. Taxco bracelet, uh, sterling, 925 Taxco. Look those up. But yeah, I'm going to take a closer look at this and determine. I can't. I actually can't remember if uh, Susie had tested this for sterling or not. But uh, it doesn't matter to me. I love the style. I love that that embossing on there and those faces look at the faces so beautiful big bracelet and i like the like the fit it's gonna fit me quite nicely so i won't just i won't snap it on right now but i have tried it on and it does fit wonderfully on me and i love green i have another bracelet Look at that guy. Loved his little face and his tail, but he's too big for me. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to find him a new home and rehome him for sure. But he's a beautiful little little uh Ooh, I don't know if that's a Navajo. cannot recall. I'll have to check back on it, but it's got some beautiful uh, lab opal, I think, in there. And uh, some coral here. A little bit of abalone. That looks like lapis. I'm not sure what that is. Anyways, lovely little bracelet. I'm just so sad that it's just a little big for me. Then on top of that, I got some, a couple of pairs of amber earrings. Got some good earrings in this lot. In this package, I should say. It wasn't a lot. But there's a, a pair of amber, two co bicolor amber earrings. It's kind of a greeny and, uh, would you say that's a root beer. I don't think it's quite cherry. It's not quite red enough. I don't think, but that's a nice pair of sterling silver and amber earrings. And then I have another one. Different shape, again, kind of a bi-color with the more of the green and the, uh, and, the, and the honey color in a circular in, ster in sterling. And again, these are a little they're a little, they have movement when they, when you wear them, so they'll be fun to wear. Love the sparkle on those. Amber is so pretty. It really is. So there. And then, oh, I also got this pair of earrings, sterling silver with the onyx kind of, uh, what would you call it? Like a tooth, little little drops on there. And then those, these are also convertible. The little, the little tooth could come off of that. So they're a, 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 a <laughs> blah, blah. they're a hoop earring with a dangle. 
That's what I was trying to get out. But I can change dangles out. And I can change those dangles out to be these little amethyst balls. So just slide off of there and you can switch them out. So that's that's kind of fun. Don't you think? We'll convert a couple pairs. Then last pair of earrings that I got from Sue, but these are fantastic. These are hand painted on abalone. Abalone. Uh, this is from Russia. Um, Sue had been bringing in a number of, of rings and then she had this gorgeous little pair of earrings come up in this fiery phoenix pattern. And just, I don't know if you can see the depth of this, but the painting of this in real life is just gorgeous. It just looks like it flies off the, off the back of the earring. So that's, and the, the, the nice thing about these when they're on Mother of Pearl is they are light. They are so light on your ears. So, you know, when you get like me and your earlobes want to hang a little lower because they're, there's some heavy things on them, having something like this is nice. The last thing I got from Sue is this beautiful, and I kind of venture to say that it's at least Georgian. Um, I believe it is marked Sterling. It's an older clasp. I bring this up here for you to look. It's an older clasp. It has a bit of a spring mark there. I don't know if you can see, but I'm pretty sure that reads sterling when I last looked. Beautiful little chain. Kind of a twisted chain. And then the pendant. On Mother of Pearl, I would say hand painted. These are tiny little feathers that make up the wings, the body, the tail of the bird. And I'm hoping that you can kind of see the the mother pearl coming through on the back of that. But isn't that delicate and beautiful? Behind glass, I would say. I think this is something that was made and then put in this bezel because you look at this and there's a screw and it's almost like this should come apart and then these would sit inside. But here's on the other side, on the flip side of that piece of mother of pearl, is a beautiful little butterfly with little tiny grass seeds in here and you can kind of see you know, part of the wing of the butterfly is broken off here. I don't know how long it's been like that. It could have been like that since it was made. Um, nothing in here appears to be moving. And, uh, yeah. Isn't that just gorgeous? Sweet? I find it fascinating. Because think, think of how delicate this is and as a butterfly and its wings. But then you think of how old this is. This, if it's going back to Georgian, that we're talking about the early 1900s. So I believe it was from 1910 to mid 1920s. This is a hundred years old. This butterfly should probably only have lived for what? A season at most? It's been a hundred years. Think about that. Anyways, I digress, I guess. That's what I got from Sue. I think a lot of these things they just they do. They make me they make me think. They make me think of the people that have worn them in the past and and where their lives have taken them. Maybe where my life is going. Anyways, let's get on with the thrifting finds and I have not been out 
doing too much and there hasn't been much out there i think everybody's out having a fun time and you know when they're in the summer and enjoying the lake and that and who wants to who wants to uh clean up the basement and put stuff out anyways a couple of pair of earrings this is called a shiva shell um it is actually the conical part of a shell these ones were made by soul flower soul flower yep um Shiva Shell in 925 Silver uh, on Dangles. That's a beautiful little pair of pierced dangle earrings. And then to go with that, here's another pair of Shiva Shells in a slightly different shape. You recognize the swirl. There's the swirl of the shell that's in there. And this is actually now the back side of the shell. The other one you could see because it was in silver. This has just been encased with a silver hoop on silver hooks. But that's that's the outside of of the shell itself. And this is the inside swirl. So it's been kind of like the tip's been cut off and then they've ground it down to make this beautiful shape and colors on here. So those I found. It's did a quick check on what those what those were. I knew that they had to be some kind of natural element. They couldn't be. They just did not strike me as being ceramic of any sort. Okay, and so I found a beautiful, beautiful brooch. Look at this. Look at this, baby. Look at the size of that peacock feather. So we're talking, you know. That's uh, four inches. It, it's not marked. It's not marked. It's nice construction. It's you know not not terribly terribly old. The pin's slightly bent, but I think I can I can live with that because that is magnificent. Look at that. Look at that stone. You know, and it's got beautiful setting in the back. It's not foiled. I, I wouldn't be surprised if that's a sort of a crystal. I have to take a good closer look at it, but it just sparkles. It is gorgeous. So we got that. And then I found a couple of rings. So here's one. This one's, I think, just fun. It's a smaller size uh, sterling silver with uh, three stones I th I don't think they're glass I haven't checked very far but again I've just found this thrifting so you know it's pretty it's silver yeah I'll buy it it's I think it's fun you there and then the last thing I find on this is this is fun look at, look at that meow meow so yeah that's a that's a kitty cat that's for sure that ring let's just let's just take this one off and we'll put him on there look at that look at that guy He's got a nice face. Heavy, heavy, it's gold tone. I can't see any marks inside. But he's got lots of room for, for finger spillage, that's for sure. Nicely set, all the stones. You can see they've they've got a few stones that have been pierced through and actually set into. Enamel. Enamel on his eyes, small stones, kind of a pave style. But uh, yeah, I like him. I like him. So uh, I had lots of fun with uh, with my thrifting finds and with the with the finds that I got from Susie. I hope you guys all enjoyed them and that you'll come back again soon. So please like, 
share, subscribe. Thanks for coming and visiting me, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye, all.